Is that their way of telling us that he's full of shit? <laughs> Probably. Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're watching a request. It's Breaking Bad Season 1 Episode 6. And uh, it's a request from Tara. So thank you so much, Tara. I'm excited to get back into it. Let's get on with episode six of season one. This one is titled Crazy Handful of Nothing. They're getting back at it. Let's get something straight. This, the chemistry, is my realm. I am in charge of the cooking. Out there on the street, you deal with it. As far as our customers go, I don't want to know anything about them. This operation is you and me, and I'm the silent partner. Have you got any issues with that? Whatever, man. No matter what happens, no more bloodshed. No violence. Is that their way of telling us that he's full of shit? <laughs> Probably. Hmm. You know, honey, you, you really don't have to. I like being here with you. Yeah. Actually, it, it wouldn't make me feel a little better knowing that you were there when until Jerry gets home from school. Okay. Have you been in touch with Elliot? Because uh, I haven't seen a check from him. Yes, I, I got it. Really? It came last week and I put it right into my credit union account, so hmm. I'm taking care of it. Good. Yeah. So we're good. We're good. Call if the discomfort's too much. Otherwise, we'll see you next week. I don't know how much cancer treatment, like chemo, is uh, in the States, but can only imagine. When a reaction is gradual, you don't even notice the reaction is happening. But if a reaction happens quickly, otherwise harmless substances can interact in a way that generates enormous bursts of energy. Who can... Give me an example of rapid chemical reaction. It doesn't feel good. Like an explosion? Yes, good. Explosions. Lemonade of mercury is a prime example of that. The faster they undergo change, the more violent the explosion. You okay? I got it, Mr. White. Don't worry. I got kids to teach. Thanks, Hugo. He's starting to lose weight, which is um, tough to see that. You know, to feel the difference when I put my uh, arms around him. Mm -hmm. It's these afternoons. When, when you're coming home so late and, and we're just left wondering where you are. Y yeah, Dad, what's up with that? Is there anything else you're holding back from your family? Now's the time to share. Well, I like to be alone. I mean, at times. And it's not about you, really. Mm -hmm. I like to go on walks a couple of times a week, maybe more, after work. I, I really enjoy the nature, cacti, vegetation, <laughs> really very therapeutic. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Oh, yeah. oh. There must be 
freaking hot in there. <sighs> what are you gonna tell me? It's hot in here too. <laughs> Cancer. You got it right. How does he know? My aunt had one of those mm. dots on her to target the radiation. What is uh. it in your lung? What stage are you? Three A. Onto your lip mouth. I get it now. That's why you're doing all this. You want to make some cash for your people before you check out. You got a problem with that? Hey, you tell me. You're the one that looks like you just crawled out of a microwave. <laughs> you gonna be able to finish the batch? Yes. No. You do it. Can I show him? What happened to your mad skills? <sighs> <laughs> you can do it. You gonna guide him or? If you have any questions, I'll be right out here. Next time, put an ice pack on your head during chemo. My aunt said it helped with the hair loss. Well, we saw he ends he ends up uh, like shaving his head. I think he should make a, a a spreadsheet that explains exactly like every step of the way. Cause let's say he was already done like half halfway through like the process of making the batch, and then he ruins it. Lab says they pulled up an imprint of some old writing and used to be on the inside, an old magic marker or something. Yeah? What's it say? Property of J.P. Lynn Chemistry Lab. That's well old school. Mm. So many people in crystal meth. We were supposed to start at three. Hey, I'm out there making fat stacks, man. Chill. Hey, prepaid cell phone. Use it. How much is this? 26 big ones. Is that all? $26,000? Uh, no, that's 2600 And your share is 13 Minus 25 bucks for that phone. You think it's cake moving a pound of meth one teeth at a time? So why are you selling it in such small quantities? Why don't you just sell the whole pound at once? To who? What do I look like, Scarface? This <laughs> is unacceptable. You may know a lot about chemistry, man, but you don't know jack about slinging dope. Uh, well, I'll tell you, I know a lack of motivation when I see it. Oh, my God. We have to move our product in bulk. Wholesale. Now, yeah. how do we do that? Sell to a seller? A big like a seller? Yes. Yes, that's what we need. We need a distributor now. Do you know anyone like that? Yeah, I mean, I used to. Until you killed him. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Who took Crazy Eight's place? Some guy named Tuco. I don't know Bad him. Badass from what I hear. Talk to Tuco. Right. Hey, this guy's OG. What, what, what does that mean? Ah, Jesus, look, he's upper level, man. He's not gonna do business with some dude he doesn't know. Well, who introduced you to Crazy Eight? Emilio, that's only because I knew him from like third grade, and we can't talk to Emilio either. Okay. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> what if he went? Okay. Walter. So we're making money. Why can't you just be satisfied with the way oh, it God. is? Jesus, just throw some fucking balls. test the product and he's gonna see for himself that this is like different quality next level shit you know yeah okay so that wasn't he only made a thousand three hundred right he needed uh, he needs more than that so I understand his uh, his urgency but also it'd be way smarter to just sell your big batch to someone and then they sell it and they have like their clientele and stuff. Gum. Mr. Bright. Thank you, Hugo.
Are you up for having a visitor? Hey, buddy. <laughs> Hank. Well, let me know if you need anything, huh? I will. Thank you, Carl. Hank. Damn. You just got an ass like an onion. Makes you want to cry. Oh. So what, uh, do you recognize that? used to cook meth. People on the inside used to say J.P. Wynn Chemistry Lab. Really? I don't understand how that came from here. That's weird. Well, I was hoping you could help me with that. Uh, we found it near an abandoned car belonging to one of our snitches. A snitch? Yeah, one of our confidential informants. Went missing a while back. Uh, nobody yet, but uh, we're pretty sure he's, you know, Probably uh, chopped up in little pieces and fed to the buzzards. <laughs> uh, are there any other respirators? Um, no. Because I'm counting six. Uh, inventory says eight. Hmm. Uh, the one he found across. and the one he's using mm -hmm. right now? Yeah. Uh, Jesse? Hello. Yo, what's up, Mr. W? Hey, so you know that guy we were talking about, Tuco? Turns out my boy Skinny P was in the same cell block with him over at Los Lunas. So we got our end. Okay then. Well, thank you. Thank you very much for calling. <clears throat> it's good. <laughs> you gotta keep better watch over your turf. I will. We don't want people to start wondering about you. Man. <laughs> <laughs> right. No. Are you sure you're tied with this guy? Two nuts in a ball sack, yo. <laughs> Let's hope. Two nuts in a ball sack, yo. Maybe this is such a good idea, yo. Yeah, cool. yeah, man, that's what's happening. Chill out. Go, what's happening, my brother? Oh, shit, he's scary. Sick crib, yo. Break out the ice. Cool. Wants to make sure that it's. <laughs> It's in okay. instant, right? I cooked it. <laughs> Bullshit. Me and my partner. Only one can four. <sighs> we got a deal. Damn. Go and hook you up. Cool. That easy? I haven't said how much. <sighs> However much. Oh, how much? 35 large for the pound. <laughs> it's all right, don't sweat. It's all good. Scott, go on, get out of here. What about the money? You get it. It's a consignment operation. When's he supposed to get this it? This is cool. Get money for meth. Catch up front. Don't be fun, dude. Too cool. Good for it. I don't need your punk ass to box for me. Bro. We could kill him right there. Give him the money. You brought me some really clean crystal. Woo. Yeah. Do you really want your money in front? Nah. <sighs> 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 Oh, come on. Nobody moves crystal in the South Valley but me, bitch! So 
So he doesn't want him cooking the crystal. He wants to be the only one. Does he cook crystal? Tuco? So did, did he basically just confiscate our stash, dude? Oh no, no! No. That's not fair. You can't just assume. Screw that. We figured he was the guy that was stealing your uh, your school's chemistry gear. I mean, you know, you had a key, fit the profile. And when we searched his truck, we found a big old fat blunt. Which goes to prove, old huge Hugo ain't so cool after all. It's, it's to you all. For what it's worth, eh? Hugo just doesn't strike me as a thief. Yeah, well, not a personal wall, but uh, you wouldn't know a criminal if he was close enough to check you for a hernia. <laughs> now that said, we got to search the <laughs> tore old Hugo's house apart. Oh, he's, uh, well, I mean, he's going to lose his job like he should. Probably spent a couple months in county. Is this not his first rap? You going to man up or you going to puss out? Hank. Damn. Not falling for it, buddy. I fold. Oh. A handful of nothing. Yeah. Who is bluffing? He pushed out. Who is this? I was dialing Jesse Pinkman. Well, where is he then? In the hospital. Oh. The guy? Yeah, I'm the guy. It's gonna feel bad. Tell me about this Tuco. He's gonna Tell end me up. Everything about it. He's gonna end up going. Oh damn! There's blood. Gonna shave it. It suits him. It's all right. Badass, Dad. He does look kind of badass. <laughs> there you go. He's bringing more? Don't know about that. I want to talk to Tuco, and I'm not leaving until I do. What's your name? Heisenberg. Heisenberg. Why don't you start talking and tell me what you want? $50,000. $35 for the pound of meth you stole, and another fifteen dollars for my partner's pain and suffering. Ouch. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember that little bitch. So you must be daddy. Take the piss out of your new boy. And then you walk in here and you bring me more men? <laughs> you got one part of that wrong. This is not meth. Makes sense. I was talking about that in his right, class. Right. I'll give you your money. <laughs> Damn. Crystal, your partner brought me. It sold faster than $10 ass in Egypt. 
And I want more. Let's say you bring me another pound next week. Yee. One pound is not gonna cut it. You have to take two. <laughs> what is this shit? Fulminated mercury. A little tweak of chemistry. Damn. Okay, so that's... Okay. So we saw. <laughs> I was so freaking cool. Oh my god. Oh my god. I did not expect that. And when, you know, when he was, um, when he was saying, uh, Tuco, when he was saying, like, I beat the shit out of your boy, and then you come back and you bring me more, I was just like, yeah, we can't fight. Like, we're not going to be able to fight. But I thought he would be able to talk his way out, you know? Tell him that, like, you see that this is good quality. So why wouldn't you want to do a partnership and actually, like, we both make money out of this? Like, why not? You know, I really thought that would be the direction that it goes. Just, like, talking. Because Walter... Well, I thought Walter wasn't a violent, well, not violent, but, you know, I didn't expect that. But as soon as it exploded, everything clicked, you know, from his, uh, his class at the beginning of the episode when he was talking about um, reactions and just uh, fulminated uh, mercury. I think that's what he said and explosions and stuff so uh it didn't make sense and that was freaking badass because that was just like this tiny piece made th this happen and he had a whole bag of it so he had good leverage let's say it was just like if you don't give me my money give me what i want i'll just like explode the whole building and you'll lose everything or at least whatever's in that building your money and stuff so yeah um at first when jesse went i was just like and he he was so like oh yeah we have a deal and then jesse didn't even men mention a, an amount like he didn't even let him get there and it started to be like really weird and he put the money in the bag and stuff I, it was kind of going too well and then he started beating him with it and I wasn't sure after, but he he did, like, steal it, right? Because I wasn't sure if it would be like, yeah, you'll get the money later. Like, don't question me and this or that. But he did say, I'm the only one to move Crystal. So he didn't want rivalry, but it's not rivalry. They're cooking it and they're selling it to you to distribute. Like, this is a good deal, but I, I'm not a drug dealer. I don't, I, I don't understand these things, but it's just... You know, I think it was mostly, like, to show power and stuff, so. But Walter, he he looked, with his uh, hair shaved, he looks scarier. It completely changes him. It's insane. I like it. And I liked the way he, he was in front of uh, Tuco. He looked very, you know, we knew he was probably fucking terrified, but he... He didn't let it show. He he looked very confident. I just don't know if he'll be the one continuing the deals or it'll be Jesse. I don't think Jesse will want to go back there. And I thought that when Walter showed up in the hospital and he saw Jesse, you know, we could see in his face that he, he really felt bad and he probably, you know, how Jesse was trying to tell him, you don't know how these things work. Like, you can't just show up and, like... These are scary people. So he probably felt bad that he, you know, told him, like, grow some balls. 
because then he got beat up. Maybe he felt bad that he should have been there. He should have went together, but I think it was mostly because he made he made it clear that he didn't want to be a part of the whole like street thing. He just wanted to be the silent partner, but I think he's going to have to do some of the work as well. And also like why wouldn't Jesse learn how to cook, you know? I guess maybe later in their relationship because if he learns how to cook then Jesse if anything happens, you know, Jesse could just get rid of Walter and if they don't trust each other, Walter could be scared that he he just like doesn't need him anymore. So, you know, it, there's a lot going into just teaching him how to do it if there's not trust built between the two. So, I guess we'll see, but that one was so freaking good. Oh my god. Also, the whole, you know, getting treatment and treatment is hard on his body and we saw it the whole episode is just like really hard to see someone go through that. So, I'll say it again, but they're really good at making it feel very real, you know? So, amazing as usual. So, that's why <laughs> I'm excited to get on with uh, Breaking Bad as a weekly upload. That would be so much fun. So, that was season 1 episode 6, Crazy Handful of Nothing. And I think next episode will be the finale. All right, I think uh, season 1 is the shorter the shortest so yeah that was really good so thank you so much tara and i'll see you guys next month with some more breaking bad yay i hope you enjoyed and thank you so much for watching